Good evening, friends. Today start Salesforce data loaders entry questions. Very important questions. Start the questions. First questions: What is the data loaders? Data loaders is a tools that is help users to manage their is a Salesforce data. It can be the use in the insert, update, delete, and uh, export data. Can you explain what is a bulk load is in the contents of the Salesforce bulk load is a process of the loading large amount of the data into the Salesforce topically using the data Salesforce data loader tools. This is a often done when first setting up the Salesforce or when migration data from the another system into Salesforce bulk load can also be done on regular basic to the keep Salesforce data up to the date. Next question, can you the, can, how can you make use of data loaders to upload a large number of the records into the Salesforce? Data loaders is tools that, that can be used to upload a large number of the records into Salesforce in order to the load. Order to do this, you will need to first create a CSV files containing the data that you want to upload. Once you have done this, you can then use data loaders to load the data from the CSV files into the Salesforce. Next questions. What are the some common use? Cases of uh, cases for using the data loaders. Data loaders is tools that is can be the used to for the more of the different tasks. But some of the most common use include the interesting updating and deleting the large amount of the data in Salesforce, exporting the data from Salesforce for backup or analysis, and bulk importing data into the Salesforce from the another systems. Next questions. What type of the data can be the uploaded, uploaded using the data loaders? Data loaders can be used to the uploader for the types of the data, accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunity. Next question, it is a possible to the upload files with an extensions other than CSV using data loaders. If yes, then how? Yes, it is a possible to upload files with an extensions other than CSV using data loaders to do this, you will need to first change the extension of the files data. Then when you go to select the files to upload in the data loaders, select the all files option in the drop down menu next to files of types. This will be allow you to the select the files regardless of it is the extensions. Next questions. Where is the cache files located when the data loaders is running in the Windows operating system? The cache files is located in the is C users app data local salesforce.com data loaders direct directory. Next questions. What do you think it is important to delete cache files? Ready? Equally, cache files are the important because they help to improve the performance by the storing frequency across the data. However, if, if they are the not deleted, carried typically, they can be become the outdated and case errors. Next question: What happen if the cache files becomes too large during the extension of the data loaders? If the cache files become too large during the ex executions of the data loaders, then data loaders will stop the ex executions, executions and return, return and the errors. Next question, it is there any limit on the size of the cache files? There is no limit on, on the size of the cache files. Next question, are, the, are all fields available for the import export for the data loaders? No, not. Not all files are the available for the import export thought the data loader. Some feeds such as a two numbers feeds cannot be the import or export. Additionally, certain feeds can only be exported 
but not the import and created by the last modify will other fields can only be uh, important but not export records type id on id next question what is the maximum file size allow when uploading the att uh, attachment and document thought the data loaders the maximum file size the att attachment and document that can be uploaded thought the data loaders in 5 mb next question what are the some best practice that is should be the follow with be using the data loaders they are the five best practice that should be following will be using the data loaders create the separate batch for each object type of you are loading data into this will be help you keep the let data or organize and prevent and any errors that is cloud or acquire is a data from the different object is mixed together next questions uh, which api are the supported by the data loaders Data loaders support all of the standard Salesforce API, including the bulk API, metadata API, and REST API. Next questions: uh, What are the different model of the operations supported by the data loaders? Data loaders is support uh, support for the different model of the operations: insert, update, absurd, and delete. Each mode each mode is used for a different purpose. Insert is user to the add new the records to the salesforce update is used to modify extend, extend exiting records absurd is used to the update and insert the records depending on the whether or not they already exit delete is used delete the records next question what are the virus way to the scheduling jobs using the data loaders data loaders can be used to schedule the job in five different way to one way it is uh, used to data loaders is GUI to the schedule jobs. Another way to the use the data loaders API to the schedule the jobs. Finally, you can the use the data loaders and command line interface to the schedule the jobs. Next questions can you the give me some example of the real world use case where the data loaders has been the useful successfully? Data loaders is often used used in the situation where where there is a need to the quickly and easily load large amount of the data into the salesforce this is can be helpful in the number of the different situations such as when the migration data from the another crm crm system uh, into the salesforce or the when creating the large number of the of text records for use for use in the development and testing data loaders can also be used to the schedule regular data import from external source such as a csv files or a related database next question can you the explain what files mapping in the context of the data loaders feeds mapping is a process of the matching feeds in your the source data to the feeds in those in says was this is a necessary to that is data loaders now which the data in insert or update in the which feeds feeds uh, mapping can be the done mainly and mainly or automatically can and can be changes at uh, any times next questions uh, how does data loaders help the ensure security when the loading the initiative data loaders data loaders in all data that is a passive thought is a ensuring that is no insertive and information is exported during the data loading the process next question what are the some alternative to the salesforce data loaders some alternative to salesforce data loaders is including the following apex data loader this is a free tools from the salesforce that is can be used to the load data into salesforce uh, jitter bit data loaders so this is a paid tools that is can be the use to load data into the salesforce informatic uh, cloud data loader this is a paid tool that is can be the use to the load data into the salesforce next question extend data loaders data loaders is a tool that is a does data import for you it can be import from any types of the data excel files or even share the point site is site and it is a quickly become one of the of the most popular features in salesforce admin by not only making uh, making you are the file 
life is yet but also the saving times next question what are the different action that can be made using the data loaders data loaders from the external database automatically create the leads and opportunity for the event of the close sales in the Salesforce. next questions input the opportunity to the automatically convert into the case when when they are the case of the changes ownership creative new the account and contact leads and profile and the other the object based on the information the inputted next question how can we insert uh, records using the data loaders. We can insert the rec uh, record using the data loaders by the file. Uh, filling out of the from fields and clicking on a save and uh, waiting for the waiting to complete. Next question, how to the delete rec uh, records using the data loaders. We can the delete record using the data loaders by uh, filling out of the from fields, clicking on the save and uh, waiting for the import and to complete. Next question, what are the sum of the benefit that is a co uh, come with using data loaders? Data loaders make the, your the life easy, easier, not the only having uh, only by saving time, but also the by providing you, you with uh, automated automated way to the insert um, record into Salesforce. They allow you to the automated task without this having the name assigned as a job campaign with of the save use time when we have many others different things and going to run at once. Next questions. Uh, other benefit include the in, uh, reducing errors from the loading data incorrectly being the able to the track who is the correctly the import what is the object so no one of the does anything wrong. Next questions. Can we delete the multiple records at a once using the data loaders? Yes, you can the either use the query search with will, which will allow you to the type of the different criteria such as the last name and Smith or the first name, job or the phone numbers dash dash, and then the export all of the result into the CVC files which can be the inputted back into the data loaders. Click save uh, list name and traders upload the records and import the records from the files and import records from Excel. Or you cloud use the uh, delete multiplayer records button the either listener traders page or into the data loaders control panels. Thank you, friends. A very important questions, data loaders topics. So please uh, like and share and subscribe to my channels. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye, my friends.